For this lesson, we're going to look at some examples of proportions. Right? Proportions, that's when you have two fractions or rates and you are comparing them and saying that they are equal. They are proportionate to each other. Okay? So, in some of these examples, you're going to look at problems like this and it's going to have a missing value. Now for this one, hopefully you've been working with equivalent fractions long enough to know that what number would be equal to two-thirds that has nine as the denominator. Hopefully you already look at that and say, oh, that's, that's six-ninths, right? H equals six. Easy piece. But we're going to look at how do you use uh, a proper procedure that's going to help you when you don't necessarily see it right away. So what you can do is it's called the butterfly method where you can multiply across here and we get 3h and then we multiply across here creating our butterfly and that equals 18. When we do this this becomes a one step equation so we'd simply go divide both sides by 3 write that inverse operation h equals 6 and like I said at the beginning that's what hopefully you saw that right away but this is the procedure you'd use if you don't necessarily see that right I don't look at 22 over a, a variable d equals 6 20 21st or 21 or 6 over 21 I don't look at that and see the answer right away maybe you do maybe you're a genius that's great okay but so what we're going to do is we're going to use this strategy right we are going to use this strategy and we are going to multiply 22 by 21 and that equals 462 and then it's equal to 6d okay so I'm going to divide both sides by 6 since the variable is being multiplied by that so we're doing the inverse operation and we get the answer of 77. So D equals 77, right? You might also see some problems where they say, hey, are these two fractions or rates proportionate? And all you need to do to test this, if you don't see it already, is you need to cross multiply just like we've been doing. So we take three and 10. Well, three times 10 is 30. and 2 times 20 is 40 so are these equal? No they are not right so the answer there would be simply no or if the instructions ask you to show evidence you can right show the work that you've done to prove say hey no if I cross multiply if I use the butterfly method I'm getting 40 is equal to 30 which is not true so 40 is not equal to 30 so no the answer is no it is not a proportion for a word problem you might see something like this okay you estimate that you can do 12 math problems in 60 minutes how long should it take you to do 20 math problems okay so what you need to do is you need to set up a proportion and you, you know okay well all right I'll say 12 problems in 60 minutes well that's going to be equal if we do it at the same pace it should create a proportion we just need to know all right well if we're saying we could do 20 math problems well I need to set that up in the numerator since I put it in my numerator originally so 20 problems and uh, I'll use my variable n it didn't define a variable so I could choose any variable I like I chose M for minutes. Okay, so, and now all we have to do is use our cross multiplication, right? The butterfly method. I get 12M, 60 times 20 is 120, divide by 12. So, M equals 10, and it was in minutes. So there are some examples for proportions. We see how to find a missing uh, value in that proportion. We see how to compare two proportions to see if they are in fact proportionate. And then we can see how to set up word problems based on proportions.